This weekend, North Korea celebrated the Day of the Sun, a national holiday marking the birthday of the country's founder, Kim Il-sung, grandfather of Kim Jong-un. The occasion is used to parade North Korea's highly synchronized soldiers and latest weaponry, and very few foreign journalists are invited. But we were. It's been an eventful weekend in Pyongyang. At 4 a.m. on Saturday, we were loaded into a van and driven to Kim Il-sung Square in the heart of the city. Oh, it's getting light. There's loads of military trucks making their way through the streets. There's actually a bit of traffic in Pyongyang, which is a relatively new thing in the city. And then, of course, the elephant in the room is the international media is speculating that today might coincide with North Korea's sixth ever nuclear test. Are you worried about the event of war? We finally arrived in Kim Il Sung Square. We've been given our designated press box from which we can watch the action unfold. Other than that, we've been kept in the dark, which is the way things are done around here. It's all about the element of surprise. Um, one thing I do know is that the man himself, Kim Jong-un, will appear at some point on this balcony above the portraits of his grandpa and father. I've been told that I need to remove my sunglasses when he appears and clap enthusiastically. Um, we've got some kind of interesting looking dignitaries sitting behind us. I'm not exactly sure who or where from. Um, other than that, it's fairly empty. I can see throngs, masses, masses of crowds assembled in the distance. Some in military gear, some with sort of banners and flags, but we don't know <laughs> what's going to happen, what direction they're going to come from, when it's going to start even. But at least it looks like the sun's coming out for the day of the sun. Hey, one of Kim Jong-un's closest confidants, addressed the crowd. Kim Jong-un looked on approvingly. took place at one of the tensest moments in years between the US and North Korea. The US Navy's Carl Vinson Strike Group was approaching the peninsula and satellite photos had suggested an imminent North Korean nuclear test. I believe we're witnessing the first ever display of North Korea's first ever ICBM missiles, which have been specifically designed to attack America. As the senior politician just claimed in his speech, they will launch if provoked. The 
following morning, thanks to emails from the outside world, we found out the nuclear test hadn't happened. But while we were at the parade, the North Korean military were preparing a medium-range missile test of the country's eastern coast. According to the US military, the missile fizzled out shortly after launch. Some analysts are claiming it could have been sabotaged by US cyber warfare. We continued our strictly controlled press trip and were politely asked to avoid the topic of the failed launch. Ah! 